please subscribe math.com for any query comment or email today we are going to discuss how you can add the two polynomials in algebra how you can add the two polynomials now what are what is polynomial let's see and how you can add it step by step process the question is add the following polynomials okay so we will write the polynomials as one is 2x 4y minus 4x cube y square plus 3x square y square minus 7xy another polynomial is these are the two polynomials that you will be asked to add these are polynomials because the power of the exponents there here is positive all the exponents of the variables are positive so for a polynomial it is necessary that the exponents should be positive and the operations must be positive must be addition subtraction or multiplication okay so all of the these exponents are positive so that's why we are, we call them as polynomial now let's see how you can add them step 1 is you have to arrange them in ascending or descending order okay we will write them uh, in, arrange them in the ascending or descending order and write one polynomial over the other for adding them together let's see how we will first write the polynomial this is polynomial 1 and this is polynomial 2 as we are adding so it doesn't matter whether we write the polynomial 1 above and the 2 uh, above it doesn't matter you can choose any any of the uh, any of them okay first of all we we'll write the write the polynomial 1 in uh, descending order descending order of the power of the variable if the power is descending order means if the power is 4 3 2 1 we will write the 4 first and the 1 at the end let's see how we will write 2x 4y minus 4x cube y square. Now it is clear that we are in descending or order of the variable x, not y. We have to choose the one so that we can uh, calculate easily. Plus 3x square y square minus 7xy. This is the one polynomial. Now we have to write the second polynomial. um uh, in a way that the like terms are one above the other so we have to see in the in this polynomial that where is x 4 y so this is x 4 y we will write x 4 y exactly below this then x cube y square is where this is x cube y square we have to see the variables not the constants variables must be the same constant doesn't matter okay minus 2 x cube y square then x square y square is here so plus 5 x square y square and x y is this plus 3 x y so we write the line below it and add them together so our purpose is to add them together their signs will remain the same just we need to do what we have to add their constants as here there is no constant so we can consider as one we'll add them together 2 plus 1 is 3 and their uh, variables will be as it is x 4 y uh, okay so 3 x 4 y okay then another is this one we have to add them together so uh, by the rules of addition when we have the two negatives we have to add them together but the sign will be of the uh, number that is larger so here the larger number is 4 we will write minus here and the operation will be the plus so minus minus it will be minus 6 x cube y square okay then we have to add them together as it, uh, it is the simple positive sign with both of the, these constants so we will write plus 8 x square y square and here again we have to check the rule of addition the sign with the larger number is minus so we will write minus here and the operation whenever there will be one negative between the by between adding the two constants the operation will always be the subtraction so minus 7 plus 3 minus 7 plus 3 will give you with minus 4 as the sign will be of the bigger number and the operation will be the subtraction so minus 4 x y so this is how you can add the two polynomials by first arranging them in the ascending or descending order and write the other polynomial uh, below the second in a way that the like terms come one above the other and then add them together by keeping in mind the uh, rules of addition how you can 
add them together let's have one more example you will be given with the polynomial so how many polynomials are there 1 2 3 and 4 now we have to add them together let's see how we can do that first we have to write them one above the other in the column form as we write first first polynomial as x now keep one thing in mind that they that all these uh, polynomials don't have the variables or the variable combination as like each other so we uh, don't have to keep the ascending or descending order in our mind here but in case where the variables of the multiple polynomials are of same combination or are of same powers then we have to uh, keep that in our mind okay the second polynomial is y square but keep this in mind that like terms will be one above the other so we will write y square here then another one is z square now where we write z square as there is no place or there is no like term like that of z square so we will write it as separate z square plus 2yz is there any 2yz no so we will write it as separate 2yz okay another is 2x square is there any x square variable yes so we will write the 2x square of the third polynomial under this 2x square okay then 2y square yes this is y square so we will write 2y square we have to check the variables not the constant variables must be same then the terms will be like terms so these are the like terms then the plus z square so z square will be written here okay now the last polynomial is again first z square yes z square is here we will write here minus 2xy is there any minus 2xy yes xy so we will write here minus 2xy and minus 2yz yes we will write minus 2yz here okay now finally we will add them together as we have already seen so for adding them what we have to do we have to add their constants so we will add it as 1 plus 2 is equals to 3 so we will write 3 as 3x square your variable will be as it is the power of the variable will be as it is as per the rules of exponents we just need to, to add their constants then next is y square here there is no constant it means there is 1 there is 1 and we have to add them together okay so 2 plus 1 3 plus 1 4 okay so it will be 4 4 y square 4 y square then next is this one this pair will be as 1 plus 2 and minus 2 will cancel each other that one what we will get we will get plus 0 x y okay that means nothing or zero but but for your simplicity for your ease we can write it as like this here okay next is the z square as they if there is no constant with the variable it means there is one there is always one there so we will write as one here one here and one here so one plus one plus one is three so plus three z square then the last one is plus two and minus two is zero so again plus 0 y z so this is the output of adding the four polynomials in a way that by keeping the like terms one above the other and adding their constants by keeping the variables as it is so this is the result or the answer of adding these three variables so if we want to omit these terms then we can easily so the answer is that um, the answer can, will be 3x square plus 4y square plus 3z square. So this is the result of the addition of these four points. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe math.com for more videos related to the math. Thank you.